Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about a principle of pawn and games called pawn races. So pawn races are basically when both players advance their pawns simultaneously to promote them and they promote at the same time or almost at the same time. So I am going to tell you about the different outcomes of pawn races in this video. So let's get started. This is the first example and if this example is about when a rook pawn, when both sides have rook pawns to pr promote, then one rook pawn prevents the other one from queening basically. So in this position, it's white to move and white goes so a4, h5, both players are advancing their pawns, a5, h4, a6, h3, a7, h2 and a8 queen and now you can see that white has promoted to a queen and now you might see the problem because these both were rook pawns they both have different corners but they're on the same diagonal so when white promotes white stops the promotion of black's pawn over here because if you promote, I can take. Okay, so that's about the rook pawn principle. Now let's learn about check. So when a pawn queens with check, then the other person is prevent cannot queen their pawn. So in this position, if it's white to move, then b5 h4 b6 h3 b7 and if h2 then b8 queen comes with a check and this pawn cannot promote because it's a check then the third outcome is that they that the players get a queen versus pawn endgame. So if it's this position, then b5, g5, b6, g4, b7, g3, and b8 queen. And now it's a queen versus pawn endgame. Now that happens when one pawn queens faster. Then if they queen at the same time, then there is the skewer one. That is that now if it's white to move here then b4 g5 b5 g4 b6 g3 b7 g2 b8 queen g1 queen and now you can see that both queens have both players have promoted to a queen but now black will shortly lose his queen because of a skewer on the diagonal and after the king moves then you can white just takes the queen and will hopefully win this position then the fourth one is checkmate so because of checkmate threats what can happen is that the side that promotes can make a checkmate threat or actually just mate made the opponent so now if it's white to move then right now you see that this black king is in the square of the f pawn so if you just push f4 then king b5 leads to a draw if you don't know about the rule of the square go look at my first video about pawn and games so white to move the way to win is king d4 b5 f4 b4 f5 b3 and now white has to force black onto a square where he can be checked so now white plays king to c3 and after that king a3 f6 b2 now you can just push f7 because even though black queens first white queens with a check 
and now black will either lose the queen or get checkmated so there are three legal moves in this position if king a2 then queen a8 checkmate if queen b4 then you just take and then it's a checkmate and if king a4 then the queen is lost after queen a8 king b5 and queen b7 and this is a skewer and here the queen is lost okay now the next principle is the queens get exchange so now in this position it's white to move so white plays b4 f5 b5 f4 b6 f3 b7 f2 b8 queen and now if black promotes then there is queen b5 check which hits both the king and the queen so black must take and then after takes and if you move the king the queens get exchanged but also now there is the prince the first principle i told you that is the rook pawn principle that this pawn will promote before and stop the black pawn from promoting okay and the last one is that you get a queen end game so like in this position suppose b4 and g5 b5 g4 both sides are advancing the pawns b6 g3 b7 g2 b8 queen g1 queen now you get a queen end game it can be one with play to it or it's just an easy win or draw and both sides have extra pawns but they aren't really of any use and so that is about pawn races i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye